the awful F1 fan experiences at Grand Prix this year. The growth of Formula One is rightly celebrated as it enters the realms of a mainstream sport. It's amazing to see more and more people understand and cherish how amazing F1 can be. However, with fans being crammed into venues that have never had to cater to an extra 100,000 plus people, it can cause some pretty big problems. I took to Twitter to ask fans to share their experiences at races this year because I think it's important that they get a voice in circumstances like this, especially considering the rise in cost to go to Formula One events. And oh my days, were there a lot of responses to go through. Let's focus on Monza first, as I would say that that has the most amount of people complaining about the fan experience. It's sad to hear because Monza being an iconic track means it's on the bucket list for a lot of fans. Here's a tweet from PT001. Monza was awful. A queue to get to the track, queue to get to the stands, queue to get out for beer and food, and a queue to get back to the stands. Friday, we couldn't take our beer to the stands and water bottles needed to be opened. These pictures show that they ain't no normal queues for a sporting event. These are too many people being crammed into an old school circuit without proper organisation or infrastructure in place to support more people. There were a lot of fans who mentioned a few similarly bad things about Monza in particular, and they were a token system where there were outrageously long queues to purchase tokens, which was the only way that food and drink could be purchased. Once you bought your tokens, there were similarly ridiculous queues to purchase food and drink, some accounts saying it took over an hour for each line. Power banks were taken off you as you enter the venue because you can pay to rent them inside. I find this one particularly strange and unfair on fans. Why take something like that off them at the gate? For them to mysteriously disappear by the end of the day? Not fair. Water bottles over 500ml taken off of you and also needed to take the bottle cap off. And no screens for general admission viewing. People had absolutely no idea what was going on on track. One message I received from a fan who will remain anonymous as they direct messaged me was, We tried so many different spots, inside the track, outside the track, and we literally couldn't see anything. People had made makeshift platforms out of wooden benches at the front of the fencing to improve their view, but meant that no one behind the first row had any hope. This particular fan came all the way to Monza and had to settle for watching the race in the fan zone with no proper commentary or sound. It's pretty gutting to read, to be honest. Here's another tweet from Olitianu Alexand7. Infinite queues for the entrance, tokens, drinks, food, at least one hour each, complete chaos everywhere. The organization was a complete shit show. I almost didn't get in for the race. It took me six hours to arrive to my seat from the entrance not coming back to Monza. There was also video evidence of two Ferrari fans forcing people to take off their Verstappen Red Bull merchandise without a security guard in sight. Now I know this particular incident may well be an isolated one, but the fact that there's no security anywhere is troubling. General admission was also falsely advertised as some of the viewing spots literally required fans to build their own log pile to see anything. Or another spot was literally behind a grandstand on the main straight. How is that a viewing area? Now I've also had quite a few experiences sent to me around Barcelona. The general consensus for this Grand Prix were as follows. Public transport was completely useless, which meant a lot of people had to walk 45 minutes in scorching heat to get to the track. Supplies for food and drink stalls ran out ridiculously quickly, even on the Friday. The lack of signage caused a lot of people to get lost, and there were nowhere near enough gates open to the public to get into the track. Another recurring problem I've noticed, and it links with what I shared earlier around the two Ferrari fans forcing people to take their Verstappen merch off, is people feeling like they can get away with anything when it comes to abusing other fans. This comes back to the lack of security and authoritative presence for fans to feel safe at Grand Prix circuits. F1 is becoming more and more tribal, going down the route of what football is really. And think of how much security is needed at big football games. F1 needs to take note before things get out of hand. 
I will admit it does seem to vary where you go though. This video isn't to say that every single circuit has the same experience, because I've had quite a few positive messages from fans who went to the British Grand Prix as an example. I myself went to Silverstone this year and other years prior, and I've never had problems with getting into the circuit really, or ridiculous queues for food and water. This video could honestly go on for hours if I documented every single fan's experiences, and thank you for submitting them. But the sheer number of you that have shared some kind of negative memory from this year from going to an F1 race shows that Formula 1 and circuits need to act and they need to act now. It's not good enough to simply sell another 100,000 tickets to a Grand Prix and expect it to go swimmingly without significantly improving the offering to fans once you get to the circuit. The problem lies with the fact tracks probably can't afford to improve their facilities all too much, which means it rests on F1 themselves to step in if they want record crowds every single year. So in a nutshell, what needs changing? Better infrastructure to accommodate more fans, make sure that every ticket offering at least allows for people to see a bloody car on track, older circuits need revamping with more screens, viewing areas and even toilets, and security needs ramping up a huge amount, had a lot of people say that they are particularly unhelpful to fans too. I'm sure you have your own thoughts so please do share them. There you have it, a look into some awful F1 experiences this year. It really isn't good enough and I hope something is done. What do you think should happen next to improve the situation? Let us know in the comment section below.